hey what's going on guys how do you do it's your boy gray here welcome back to the channel in today's video i wanted to answer a question that a lot of people have been having lately i've been noticing within the community here uh they don't know how to set up their own custom games their own lobbies where you guys go up against bots you guys can just wander solo throughout a map and figure out different spawn points you guys can do 1v1s whatever you guys want to do i notice a lot of people have been asking how do you create a custom match so once again in today's video i'm going to show you guys exactly how to get that done if you guys are brand new to the channel don't forget to subscribe i do upload every single day make sure to turn on notifications drop a like on today's video it'll really help out all that good stuff you guys let's see if we get today's video to 50 likes i'll be awesome man and you guys been killing it lately and i just want to say thank you so much for the amazing support i'm going to continue doing my best to provide you guys with the best possible tips and tricks videos or just any kind of call of duty content videos that i can all right, so with all that said, thank you so much for watching, guys. Let's get right into this. All right, and this is coming off right from the main menu of the game where you have your options of choosing either multiplayer, blackout, or zombies, and theater mode, and store, and play local, and stuff like that. So you have two options. You can either go to play local here and then select multiplayer, or you can just go right here into multiplayer, which is what I'm going to do. You just select multiplayer. So you're in the multiplayer menu, guys. You just want to select this option right over here. It's like the small square box that you guys can see has like the audio uh i don't know uh, icons on it or whatever you see like a settings adjustment of uh, whatever icons I don't, I don't really know what that's called um but you select that box right here now just to get this out of the way right now guys there is no setting there is no menu or anything like that that you can go to to do a custom blackout game you can't you cannot do that uh so that is that is not available in the game as of now this video is mainly just to show you how to set up a multiplayer custom game. All right, and now to set up your own custom game, what you guys want to do is you guys want to go right over here, right above the play option. You see the where it says payload, where it shows you the map. What you want to do is click on this option right here. That is where all of your options are that you can adjust every single setting that you want. Uh, you can add bots and everything like that. That is where you guys want to go. So I'm sh I'll show you that right now. So you just click on it right here. And just like that, you go into this menu here and you guys see you have your Black Ops team, you have your merch, you have your Codcaster. Um, and then over here is where you go if you want to change your maps. Uh, so you click R1 and then you select any map that you guys want. Uh, we don't have DLC packs yet, so this is empty. Uh, but any any standard map you guys can choose from. It also change what kind of game mode you want, whether it be like TDM, free for all, domination, hardcore, anything you want like that, guys. And it gives you the option of TDM or hardcore TDM. Uh, so there you guys have that once you have that ready guys you can go over here for your rules the second box you guys can see right here it says rules custom um for for the, in this case i'm just showing you for team deathmatch uh you can do your win conditions you can do time limit score you can do advanced settings uh you can say how many points you want per kill uh round score limit and stuff like that uh spawn points and stuff uh the gameplay you can do a pre-match timer you can do a pre-round timer and stuff like that you can say whether or not you want a mini map you can have the kill cam and the real fog of war options and stuff like that, that that's that's all you can control in this uh section right here and then if you press r1 you can actually go into your specialist settings you can actually choose uh how many how many uh specialists can be chosen so you can say you know two ajax can be chosen or two battery can be chosen or you can say none no battery and stuff like that or no crash or no ajax or whatever whatever you guys want to do it's your custom match you can select for the draft time as far as like picking and stuff the time like you know right before you go right before you enter a match and you're ready up you can you can adjust the health damage uh the health being right now at 150 you guys can fix that however you want you can do 140 you can do 100 you can do zero like well it's up to you guys uh you can do manual healing enabled or disabled so it's up to it's completely up to you guys uh friendly fire you can do headshots only like it's up to, completely up to you man for cooldowns this is basically where you would want to go and adjust the settings uh talking about the specialist uh weaponry their specialist gear and stuff like that equipment or should i say uh so you can say what the cooldown is uh do you want it to be enabled or disabled do you want it to be ready immediately at spawn uh completely up to you guys do your codcaster settings i'm not really into codcaster settings so i really wouldn't even know were to explain to you guys any of these i wouldn't know what to show what to say or what to show you uh so i'm gonna skip that one for now but codcaster settings you can adjust a bunch of settings there uh lobby settings this is where you guys want to go if you want to set the team uh team assignment uh change in game whether or not you want teams to change in, in whether or not you want players to change uh their team in game and stuff like that whether or not you want to allow ca uh, codcasting third person spec uh dynamic map elements battle chatter uh, announcers best play at the end of the game and stuff like that uh, and finally here guys for your bot settings this is where you basically select what kind of difficulty you want for your bots uh, if you if you're going up against bots so you can select veteran uh, hardened regular obviously recruit is the easiest and then the last thing here guys is you can actually add or remove bots now you're, you might be wondering this is what happens when you just press when you press add bots this is what happens here it just adds bots to the teams here to the black ops team and the merch team and stuff like that now if you guys want to go up against 
a full team of bots if you guys want to do like a one on five or something like that all you got to do is scroll over to your team that you're on select uh any of the bots on your team for example this guy right here and then what you can do once you select them you can actually move him either into the codcaster or if you want to move him over to the empty slot right here and you can actually move him over to the uh, merch team you can do the same for this guy you can do the same even if you want to move somebody into your team you can move them back over here by just selecting them and pushing putting them in the empty slot and last but certainly not least here guys you can also invite friends if you have any friends that you want to invite if you guys want to do a custom game uh a 1v1 play one clan against another clan you guys can do that right there uh you can set up your score streaks as simple select three it's 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 all the same there uh and finally here you guys can actually set up different class setups here now you at this moment you only have the option of doing six class setups uh but you can set up six different classes for yourself all right and it's that simple guys that is how you do your own custom game here in call of duty black ops 4 i noticed a lot of you guys were having a lot of questions on how to get this done so i hope this video was informative i hope it was helpful if you guys have any other questions or concerns regarding either custom games or anything black ops related uh please feel free to let me know in the comment section below i will do my best to answer it for you and if i don't know the answer answer i will try and ask around and see if i can get you the answers uh, that you need all right so guys thank you so much for watching today's video like i said a pretty pretty simple one here just a informative one overall uh, i hope you enjoyed the content hope you enjoy the information i'm a back at here subscribe if you're new turn on notifications and drop a like all that good stuff you guys till the next one my name is gray peace